Coffee Dzilla's new video on Tate's scam. What? I didn't see Coffee Villa Coffee Zilla posted a new video. Oh, four hours ago. Oh, this is bold. Shaking the hornet's nest of the of the Tate enthusiasts. Of the uh, the top G's. He's got a death wish. Thanks the resub smiling. No, I don't think so, Ulti. And thanks, Bearded, and the resub Arkrim. Hey, we can check it out. Today, I'm getting a PhD from Hustler University, also known as Hustlerversity by those of us with the grind set. It was created by this guy. I'm top two. You think you're smart? I bought this coin and it's going up. You could have bought any f coin and it went up in the last year. The Matrix was broken. Hustler University is the greatest. Oh, I've actually heard that a lot. The Matrix is broken. What does that mean? I've seen like a lot of YouTubers say that recently. What does that mean? Like, that's ravings of lunacy that I used, like, I would have heard back in the day. But now a lot of people are saying it unironically. I don't know what it means. The video goes into the Matrix being broken? Oh, okay. I'm, okay. I might be getting ahead of myself then. That exists on the face of the planet for people who are trying to escape the Matrix. Become Hustlers University. Welcome to the Metaverse. Inject it into your brain. You can skip university, you can buy my program, and I guarantee you, you will know everything you need to know. Have you ever seen a college professor with an S53 and a McLaren and a Lambo and an Aston Martin standing next to a Porsche? No, you've never <laughs> seen any of this. I know how to make cash. Now, if you're wondering why I'm enrolling in a college that looks like it was started by the son of Mr. Worldwide, it's actually quite simple. Hustleversity was started by Andrew Tate. I still, It still blows my mind that this became a real thing. I remember, and I think we did it on stream, when we were going through the alpha male rabbit hole, I remember we watched Hustler University's promotional piece and all of us were making fun of it. And now people unironically enrolled and bought into it, drank, drank the Kool-Aid. It's crazy that it actually popped off. That is the power of marketing on TikTok. If you just put enough money into TikTokers, people will always buy it. It blows my mind. Their promotional piece for Hustlers University is still like one of the goofiest ads I think we saw for all the alpha male shit. Wild stuff. It is wild. So if you have like a startup business or something, invest in TikTokers. And put, put that money, like that marketing budget into TikTok. 100%. Basically no one knew about until six months ago and is now somehow more searched than Mr. Beast, Kanye West, or most shocking of all, even the Island Boys, who I know I thought would have a career forever. But mm. such are the tides of fame, I suppose. And I guess the real question is, how did this happen and why? Well, Andrew attributes his meteoric success to a change in business strategy. I put together a particular strategy about six months ago because I decided to step up my overall exposure because of a new product I launched. I run an online school that teaches people how to make money online. Mm -hmm. I changed my approach towards social media and I ended up absolutely everywhere. Now, if you're wondering what business that strategy true. that is, or even what business this guy's in, turns out he's one of these male success gurus who will be your surrogate father essentially for a fee. And the program he runs is called Hustleversity, where he teaches you how to make fast money if you'll only pay $50 a month. And one of these fast money methods turns out to be selling Hustleversity to new people by posting <laughs> clips of yeah. him, Andrew Tate. And it's so it's so smart. The cope on Twitter I see all the time about how it's not an MLM blows my mind. This is literally it works. It's it's pyramid. It, it is actually it works. But it, you can't say that when talking about Andrew Tate for some reason. They really take great offense to it. There's no shame in it. You know how many people you know buy into it works, and uh, what the essential oils and the. What the what do they call the fat tapes or something? Where you're supposed to like wrap tape around your body or something? I, I forgot what the other big pyramid was. Herbalife, another one. I don't know why they won't just be like, yeah, I bought into an MLM. Like just own it. Like I mean, just just fucking own it. No shame in it. You're basically promoting him now. I guess, and that's the that's the problem with Andrew Tate. 
no matter what you say or what you do, people are going to believe it and get into it every single time. But this is just too interesting not to. I haven't actually seen someone dive deep into Hustlers University past just making fun of it. CoffeeZilla dissects things that he talks about really well. So I'm super curious to see everything that he learned. So yeah, and on this one, I'm just going to accept that there's going to be a few people in chat that for some reason buy into Hustlers University. It is what it is, man. I just need, I really want to see the analysis from CoffeeZilla on this. And because of this, it kind of created this pyramid scheme where there was a flood of TikTok videos and biased reviews saying that Andrew Tate is the one true savior that will save you from poverty. He's basically Morpheus from the Matrix, and that's not even me calling him that. He calls himself that. I get called Morpheus a lot. We are living inside of the Matrix, and I am Morpheus. He says he wants to wake you from your mental prisons, all by selling you a program that sounds like what high school dropouts used to put as their education status on Facebook. Attended the School of Hard Knocks and graduated Hustleversity with a PhD. <laughs> Wait, you're a doctor? No, that's the pimping hose degree. Which is something, by the way, I didn't make up. It's a course that Andrew Tate himself sells. But I don't think you want to take advice from someone who's in the middle of a human tr investigation. Hey, hey, and that's not hey. even to mention accusations you know, like, that's, of beating women. Hey, him could have, those accusations could happen to anyone. This was, quote, a total scam. But none of this has stopped over 100,000 people from signing up for Hustleversity, which at 50 bucks a month nets him $5 million a month, despite it being a repackaged version of the same male guru grift that we've seen over 100 times, like Tom Vu, John Cristani, Dan Locke, Grant Cardone. Need I go on? What's the difference with Tate? See, despite his alleged criminality, toxicity, psychopathy, Andrew does have one undeniable skill that seems to be responsible for most or all of his success so far. He's just really entertaining. I hate everyone equally. Yep. I've said that since the get go, he is the most entertaining clown you can find in the alpha male space. And that's why it's probably worked so well. Between TikTok promotion, the MLM stuff, and just him being so enjoyable to laugh at, it's popped him off. Wild. His neck? Uh, just a bad frame. It's like those in-between frames in an anime where it looks all fucked up, but it's like his whole body. Thanks to the resub YOLO, Balin, the Prime Noah, and Tier 1 Sweet. The resub Easy and Only Made and Startled, the Tier 1 Jerick. Do you think the guys paying for this think it's a joke? I think there's a good balance of people who pay for it like ironically like haha i'm part of hustlers university and people who actually believe it and i think the believers probably outweigh the the former which is sad but it is what it is it's the same for every other alpha male we ever looked at you remember the guy who's a self-admitted cuck he's uh, what was his name today i'm getting um oh fuck we it's only been a couple months it's the big guy he sells the course on like so your wife doesn't want to fuck you that's okay no i'm talking about alpha males bro is it jack murphy it might be jack murphy oh yeah yeah, yeah. jack murphy right this guy's he's literally a cuck but he's also an alpha male so he's teaching you how to be an alpha male while also being a cuck it's this guy right a lot of these guys kind of all look the same like bald and a beard is it this guy I don't want to slander Jack Murphy if it's not Jack Murphy, but it's one of them. And thanks for the five gift subs, Jarek. Appreciate it, man. It's literally the first thing. His meltdown? Was his meltdown about people calling him a cock? Because this is just a podcast talking about it. Like, I see in the thumbnail, but this is just a podcast talking about it. I guess it's probably this guy, then. Don't come at me and call me sexist or racist or any of these things. I hate everyone. I don't care if you're black, white, straight, gay, man, and woman. I hate you anyway. I do know how to administer CPR. However, I will not administer CPR unless you're a hot female. If you're some fat dude and you just had a heart attack and I don't really know you, is that a lady billing you and you f***ing back and rearrange your f 
bones. Why has it been massaging for four hours straight, bro? I have a lot of muscle. It's it's painful to carry around. It's a two-hour massage. You see, guys, modern influencers are slowly learning that we live in a post-consequence world. With people like Jake Paul running around just serially scamming people and nothing happening to them, people are starting to realize that the only real currency is attention. Clout. Like, oh, the worst thing that's going to happen to you Same is thing. not that you go to jail. The worst thing that's going to happen to you is you irrelevant. become irrelevant. Yep. And this is what separates Andrew Tate from a lot of the fake gurus I've covered in the past and makes him much more effective and maybe dangerous at what he does. And in that way, he's got more in common with someone like Alex Jones. We're going to beat your ass. You just get that through your stinking traitorous heads. That's a good he does comparison. With someone like Dan Locke or Grant Cardone, both Jones and Tate operate sort of on this playbook where entertainment is king. They say a bunch of outlandish statements that builds attention. And then once they're the crazy guy, all they have to do is say a few basic things that everyone agrees with. And then their audience suddenly thinks they're a genius. I mean, everyone- That works for everything, by the way, not just people. I, this is the same thing with QAnon. Uh, like QAnon has the wildest shit, like believing JFK Jr. got revived and is still any day now going to cruise around some random corner in fucking Washington and announce his presidency. The reason they have so many people is, uh, well, I guess, I guess the big reason is everyone wants to believe something that makes them feel special. But another thing is they also then put in some things that are true. Like there's a lot of pedophiles in Hollywood. It's like, oh, well, it turns out there are a lot of pedophiles in Hollywood. I guess QAnon's right about everything else. It just becomes like a gateway. So you sprinkle in like little truths for the lunacy and then you get people to buy into it so it's not it, it works for more than just like individuals everyone knows who q is right fuck me I, i've heard so many different reports on who q is i couldn't tell you is it is it one of like the the clintons or something i, I don't i don't remember there's so many theories on who q is it could be fucking anyone Things are tier one leet, tier one slurky in the resubtubular body and rug. Yeah, exactly, dumb. That's what I was just saying. Thanks to resub echo. Has seen this with Alex Jones, right? You have modern philosopher Joe Rogan seemingly saying that he predicts everything. Alex is right about far more than he's wrong. <laughs> when in reality, Alex Jones is predicting everything sort of all the time. So of course he's going to be right some of the time. And it's sort of the same with Tate. He says so much. Like in one segment, he'll say something outlandish like, Men should be able to cheat on women, but it doesn't work the other way around because that's disgusting. Let's not pretend that male loyalty and female loyalty are the same thing. But loyalty is loyalty. No, but they're not the same thing, are they? However, I would not see my infidelity as nearly anywhere near even 1% as disgusting as female infidelity. And he knows that's going to get him clicks and piss people off. But then we'll say in a segment right after, oh, I believe in true love between a man and a woman. I believe there should be more love. I think relationships are a beautiful thing. I think that the synergy between men and women are a beautiful thing if they are correctly collaborated. I think that that's what makes society function. I think that's what makes the world function. I think that men and, men and women falling in love and having children and having families are very, very beautiful things. Well, who doesn't agree with that? And he'll talk to like men's issues. He'll talk about how lonely men are. Yeah, sad Most men. Most men are absolutely not really invisible. But, oh, I was just, oh, I was just about to fucking say that. I paused too late, yeah. The whole most men not being invisible, you're not invisible, men feel invisible, this and that. That's everywhere. That's a really big platform for alpha males right now. I see that shit all the time. I think, uh, fuck, what, what channel was it? Is it Sneeko? Sneeko's been big on, like, all men feel invisible now. Like, that, that shit is all over the place. So, like, all of them kind of regurgitate the same points because it's really effective. He's a tier one king. And the resub chef, Raphael, and full metal. And resub Chris. This is the truth about masculinity, right? It's very easy for women to sit here and complain about the top 2% of men because I've met with that with this guy, he's arrogant, blah, 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 blah. Most men don't even f***ing exist. They send 10,000 DMs and never even get read, let alone replied to. And so this makes it so that the many people who are trying to say, ah, oh, Andrew's just crazy, they don't see the full con that he's running because the crazy is only half of the game. 
Because eventually, people hear the other half, the basic stuff that's obvious, and go, well, he's that's not just tough totally love. crazy. Yeah. And people just eventually kind of go down the Tate rabbit hole where they think, you know, maybe I can leave the Matrix and get girls, Jets, and Bugattis. Maybe <laughs> I just need to become financially free. How do I do it? Who's looking out? Hustler for me? University. That's where Hustleversity enters mm -hmm. the picture. And look, I know we just covered a lot, right? But to understand this next part, to understand Hustleversity, it requires a deep understanding of Andrew Tate's appeal. So we can see why Hustleversity is on the one hand so popular, despite being so bad. Because Otherwise, this whole video is anticlimactic and confusing because when I first joined Hustleversity, I thought it's got to be different, right? It's it, to have this many people paying every no, it's just, month. Yeah, it's marketing. You did a good job of it. have things that you just can't learn for free, right? Wrong. Once again, I'm disappointed because I joined this month and have been going through the classes, which is basically all of the same boring topics all of these guys teach about making money. It's all the most surface level stuff. He assigns a so-called professor to each skill. And all of this all takes place inside of Discord servers. And Wait, so what? in these chat rooms where your instructors have a fraction of the charisma. You're paying $50 a month for a fucking Discord. No, I had no idea. I thought it was going to be like actual courses, like a like master class or something. Even Ninja put more effort into his fucking tutorials. You're paying $50 a month for a Discord. Holy shit, that's worse than being a Discord mod. That's literally being that's you you are paying you you are paying to be an actual like shit stain on a piece of toilet paper. Oh my god. Uh that's a lot worse than I thought. Fifty dollars a month for a Discord channel. That is pay piggy stuff. That is like actual pay piggy stuff. Things that give sub king in the tier one Saki and the resub garbage and Don and Nutter. At the very least, you should at least hold Tate to a higher standard. Like, hey man, instead of just a Discord server, why can't we have, like, you know, a more professional curriculum? Like, everywhere else. No, it's not. No, it's not what? No, it's not just Discord or no, it's not pay piggy. Oh, you just said I'm the cuck. No, it's not. I don't even know if that was to me. I'm Now I'm getting lost. <laughs> Makes the resub Tristan in the Prime static and gives sub and a bits donkey. The Prime Develis. Tate. Well, there's a, okay. There's a difference between being desperate and being manipul. Well, oh no, there's absolutely not. He's manipulating desperate guys. There's a different tiers of desperation. There's self-aware desperate people, and people who get brainwashed because they're desperate. I would say. Like you have to be on a different, like wavelength to fall for a fifty-dollar Discord. Well, fifty-dollar a month Discord. Like, not every desperate guy is going to be, you know, scratching at the neck to be part of the Hustler University Discord. He's a tier one zero, and the tier one him, the prime Ronche. You're supposed to commit yourself to these skill sets, which are super surface level, because, of course, this all appeals to the lowest common denominator men who think answers can come from TikTok videos. And this is where it starts to hit you as you're scrolling through Discord threads that this kind of was all, you've been told you're gonna escape the matrix. You're gonna take the red pill. And then you go what to you Discord. End up doing this course is sort of <laughs> learning how to run an Amazon side hustle for Jeff Bezos. Like no what? offense, you're not breaking the matrix. You work for the richest guy in the world. Like imagine Morpheus gives Neo the red pill and says, hey, have you ever day traded before? <laughs> it doesn't stop there either. Like you've been told you're gonna to be rich, right? I guarantee you will make money with this system. Hold on tight, we're about to get rich. But Hustlers University sort of changes the rules and definitions once you're inside. Like they have this cash quadrant of time and cash where you're either time poor or cash poor, time rich, cash poor, cash rich, time poor. You get the idea. Um, and what they define cash rich as is very telling. 
They define it as having $5,000, which by that definition, oh, guys, what? I'm proud to say <laughs> I'm cash rich. Now, guys. Wait, like in total? That is so different from the, the pitch. I imagine most dudes who buy into this have to have $5,000 total. It's $50 a month. That is such an expensive item. So who... What? This makes no sense. Thanks to the Prime Kaz and the Resub Romeo. And the Bits Ulti. And the Resub Tan and Dan and Deku and Fish. Okay, yeah, I, I guess that's super surprising to me. Now, guys, look, having $5,000 is great, but you ain't rich, right? The lifestyle we've been sold on here is exotic Bugattis, not extra Starbucks biscottis. <laughs> I mean, am I crazy here? Like, I feel like most people who joined this Discord that's want just olive said. Lamborghinis, and they're sort of getting Olive Garden fettuccine. And this weird disconnect is everywhere where Andrew Tate is practically screaming how great Hustlers University is on the one hand. Hustlers University is the greatest thing that exists. That's a good I point. I didn't think of that. It's low because he wants people to feel like alphas. That's a really good point. I suppose that's probably like the play. Maybe you get someone who's a little skeptical, like I'll do $50 one month and I'll probably cancel, but they join and they're like, oh, I have $5,000. Okay, so I'm, I'm cash rich and I'm surrounded by a supportive community. Okay, well, now I feel like I'm part of the crew, part of the ship. So then they stay. Maybe that, I mean, that could be the play, I guess. So then they're not even there for the information. They're there more for the community and the feeling. I mean, I, I, I mean that's super possible. Which is even sadder, to be honest. Yeah, because you can get that same feeling for free. Like, there's always going to be a community of people just like you. Like, you're not special. Whatever your interests are, you're going to find a million people with those interests, and you guys can be friends. Like, and it's free. You just have to find them. You don't have to pay $50 a month for friends. At that point, join a frat. Well, I mean, even then, it's cheaper, I think. Depending on the frat. Frat's 12k. Frat is 12k a semester. What fucking frat did you rush? 12k a semester? What the fuck? My friends are only paying like shit. Probably not even 50 a month. I forgot what frat they were in though. It's probably a shitty one, I guess. If that's the normal rate, my god. You pay for frats? Yeah, they have dues. Face of the planet for people who are trying to escape the matrix. And yet, if you look at their own success screenshots that they provide, their students are getting at best like very part time income. Like there are screenshots of $400 a month, maybe $2,000 a month. And those are the examples. I mean, that's pretty good. Like, at least he's seeing some kind of moderate like success from this. It's not Bugatti level wealth or anything, but at the very least, this guy's got something working. So he got his money's worth. I think the people that are getting the 400 to 500, depending on how many hours they spend, I guess it's not the worst thing in the world, but if they're trying to do this like a full-time thing, this is not livable. <clears throat> For $50 a month, that, that is not a, a good return. They chose, which I'm not knocking the people who are doing this, like good for them. But well, I'm assuming the 2K a month isn't his only source. I, I imagine... I would pray that they're not committing their whole life to these courses and making it like a career. I would imagine that's 2K on the side of whatever they're doing. Unless you consider being cash rich, having $5,000 total in your bank account, then this course doesn't seem to be getting people rich. It just teaches lost guys extremely basic skills that are free to learn 
but charges them $50 a month for it so they can feel like they're escaping the matrix by working for Jeff Bezos. And this all brings us kind of back to the real reason for the success of Hustlers University, which is of course, Tate himself. But the irony is that once you join the university, you barely see Tate at all. He claims to be teaching the secrets to modern wealth creation, but the reality is from what I saw, he was too busy marketing to actually be present in the discord. Yeah, and I mean, instead, obviously you just had all these random people teaching you like e-commerce or freelancing or copywriting and investing. And this is kind of one of the reasons that I struggled to get good screenshots to show you guys from inside the course because it was so boring and bland. And that's why I decided to finally cancel my plans to become oh, cash no. rich. And that's when I found out about the last trick Tate uses to get you to stay. Anyone who messes this up, annoys a professor, doesn't renew their subscription, their card cancels, anything stupid, then you're gonna regret it for a very long time because there's simply nowhere else to go. That's right, they tell you there's nowhere else to go besides Hustlers University. Fuck. This is the only place what a shame. where you're gonna learn not to be broke. And even the people the who want to be part of it beat and the simply don't have the money, Tate has Fuck. told them that there's no second chances. They're gonna go back in the matrix if they miss a single payment. I had to unsubscribe to get my mother a birthday present, but I resubscribed the next month. I don't believe that. I don't believe you. And I also think if you <laughs> were a member of Hustlers University for a month and you didn't make enough money to buy your mother a birthday present, you f***ed up. So you're probably going to end up kicked out. Like their two responses <laughs> are, that's not true. Okay. And even if it is, it's your fault anyway. Who is this guy? I've seen him in a few clips now. All he usually does is put Tate's meat in his mouth. Who is he? Is he like one of the gurus? He teaches you on like cock sucking technique or something for like behind the dumpster transactions? Who is he? It's his brother? Oh, that makes a lot of sense. That makes so much more sense now. Okay, that makes so much sense. This guy only parrots what Tate says, or well, like Andrew says, or reinforces it or says outlandishly stupid shit. Okay, that makes sense. Thanks for sub Lucas Lalborg shoots in Aran Lan. The bits dung. He was saying it's 5k free to be able to use on courses per week and month, not 5k in the bank. 5k free to be able to use on the courses per week or month. So like 5k of spendable money? Okay, so like 5k play money. Gotcha. Thanks, Arisa. Hezzy and Bubs. Gotcha. That's still not Bugatti level, but all right. Oh, kicked out. Like their two responses are, that's not true. And even if it is, it's your fault anyways, which I find amazing. It couldn't be the program, right guys? And you have to understand that for the people actually in the course, they're like deathly afraid of missing a payment because they've been told that if they do, guess where they're going? That's right. Straight back in the matrix. Guess where they're going? That's right. Straight back in the matrix. In jail, they call it. And you'll see we have people in jail. So people who uh, don't <laughs> renew, we don't kick you out. <laughs> we put you in the jail and you sit there in your cell and you have no access to the money-making information. <gasps> and we just flood you with all the endless wins. Every time someone wins, no. we show you. I mean, Andrew Tate hasn't reinvented anything. $400 He's just a doing month? doing it more successfully than a lot of fake gurus have in a while. But the result is the same as ever, where the real person getting rich, truly rich, is Andrew Tate. You're broke! You're f***ing poor! Nice. That was pretty insightful. I can't believe it's $50 a month for a Discord server. I don't know why anyone's surprised, I, I, rather, I don't know why CoffeeZilla is surprised Andrew Tate was never there. He openly hates the people that buy his program. He literally insults you. It's like a, like a humiliation kink. He openly insults you. Constantly. Of course he's not going to hang out with you. It's not tough love. He just actually doesn't like you. You, you are his pay pig. It's a, it's a far cry from tough love. He'll sprinkle in like a couple truths here like men feel invisible. It's not good to feel invisible. 
You need to feel better. Uh, you can feel better by taking care of yourself first and foremost. It's like, oh, it's kind of true. And it's like $50 a month. And I'll show you how to do some drop shipping, I guess. Oh yeah, I know. The 110,000 students, it's big. No, it's fucking big. Easy tier one vanilla in the resub Logan. In the prime insanity. So is that five million of fifty dollars subs? Uh, I don't exactly know what it would be. I think he has other options, right? It's not just fifty dollars a month. You can do more for like more advanced courses or something, right? Isn't there? I vaguely recall there being different tiers. So you could be like an honor roll student or something for more money. Yeah, there's one for like four grand. Yeah, it's something crazy like that. Andrew Tate makes 66 mil a year from this shit if everyone pays $50 a month. Yeah, no, it, it's a super successful hustle. He did what all the other alpha males did, but did it smarter by being like a punching bag. Like, obviously he's in on the joke. He knows he says the most outlandish shit, like CoffeeZilla mentions, and then sprinkles in enough truth where people hear about him for being insane. Then they'll hear some truth and be like, huh, maybe I'm going to check that out. And then they buy into $50 a month. Huge profit. And since you're only paying $50 for a Discord server... It's pure profit. He has no overhead. Maybe he has to pay a couple of the gurus that he got from Fiverr, but that's so negligible. It is straight profit. And there's the MLM component where you get rewarded for recruiting people to Hustlers University. This is an absolute money printing farm on the back of some real desperate sad dudes. And they are brainwashing themselves on Twitter with the most cope I've ever seen. It's fucking genius. It's super smart. He did it exactly how you would or how you should if you're trying to make a ton of money with no morals very smart recontinue the video what no i finished it i just went back to show this like how big it is we just finished it Thanks to the bits, ulti, and the resub, dickweed, and prime golden, and resub dookie, and prime cloud. And the resub, futomo. Scamming is against Discord terms of service. I mean, so is child grooming still all over on discord and you can't you can't legitimately say it's a scam because he does what he says he gives you shit information for 50 dollars a month like you can't argue in court that he has scammed you you're dumb you bought into it you're dumb you bought into it thinking you're gonna make a ton of money and get a lot of pussy you're dumb <laughs> like that's the that's the end of it you didn't get scammed he gave you some vague information like he promised. Here's the resub accrue. The bits train and resub obscure. And the resub Mikey. Is the resub Freud and dead? The resub Sea Sponge. And the resub Kill and Bits Coco. <laughs> yeah, I'll announce my online courses. That'll be the big reveal. <laughs> 